Hey guys, this is April at Georgia Girl Plans. I have a flip through video for you today. Well, it is a flip through and a deconstruction. So, I purchased um, my Erin Condren last year and I purchased the 18 month. I um, purchased it in July or August of 2018. I never had an Erin Condren before and I wanted to start trying it out even though I already had a planner. So what I did from July through December of 2018 is I used this as a memory planner, a true memory planner. I put pictures in it, highlighted the big things of the day. And now, starting January 2019, this is my rewind planner. Um, I film this throughout the week, put everything that happens. Um, it's my pretty spread, you know, no canceled. Um, you know, stickers, no cross outs, that sort of thing. So, I um, am absolutely loving it. I'm so glad that I have it. However, I don't know how anyone keeps an 18 month planner because she's very chunky now. Um, the cover barely even stays on. So, what I wanted to do was do a flip through of my. Um, memory spreads that I have in here, which was July through December, and then uncoil this, take out all of my memory spreads, and then just have this as a 12 month planner. So I'm going to do a little flip through with you, just show you what my memory spreads looked like, the shops I used, then um, I'll speed you through uncoiling it, hopefully it goes seamlessly, and then show you um, how it looks with just 12 months in here. So. Um, this is my first page. I am going to be leaving in these first pages. I've got my vinyl here from Calligraphy by Lindsay that I love. And then I use um, this first section to plan out all the kits that I'm using in this planner. So I am going to be leaving those pages. Just going to be taking out July through December, which is a good chunk. So let's start. I didn't use my monthlies. Um, in July and August, yes, because I didn't get this planner until the beginning of August, and then I went and back planned um, those weeks, so I, but I didn't go back and back, back plan the months. So this is the first spread I ever did in my Erin Condren. This is a kit from GP Sticker Studio, which I just love this. This may be one of my favorite spreads. This is the week that I went to Oregon for one of my best friends' bachelorette party. So, really pretty, fun summer colors. And, um, like I said, I've got some pictures in here. This next spread was the week of July 4th, and this kit is from Pretty on Paper Co., now Pop Co. And this was one of my best friend's wedding weeks. So, another really pretty, fun spread. And then this kit is from Piper Paper Company. This was just a really pretty, um, like, summer color uh, vacation color kit. Uh, I wasn't on vacation this week. I just thought it was perfect for the summer. And then I've got some pictures of my animals in here. Oh, and this is when I got my first TN. That's fun. Um, this is a kit from Scribble Prints Co. I actually got this in a grab bag and it just was like pieces of a kit that all worked together. And this was the week that we left to go to the beach, so I thought this kit was perfect. Oh, I didn't even realize I put um, 10 millimeter washi up there. I don't think I've done that since. And then this is another kit from Pretty on Paper Co. We were at the beach this entire week, so this was the perfect ocean beachy feel. Got some pictures from our vacation. So that was the last week of July. So moving in August, didn't have a monthly again. Oh, I love this spread. I think Jackson Pepper has some of the prettiest kits. They're just so airy and beautiful. So this week I was um, in St. Augustine for another friend's bachelorette party. Got a picture here. Really pretty. And what I did in these is I did journaling on the side because I wasn't tracking anything because I was doing it months later. All right. This kit is from Nightingale Paper Co. Um, just really light and pretty. Got a haircut this day, got a picture. I really like this one. And I, this one I did some 10 millimeter washi as headers, which I haven't done that since either, and I really like that. All right. 
And then this kit is from, um, oh goodness, I don't want to say their name wrong, Mellow Paper Studio. I think that's it. Um, this is a book lover's kit, which I love this washi so much. So this is really pretty. I got a picture of my first TN here. And then this is another Nightingale Paper Co. Like outdoorsy kit. Um, I didn't do anything outdoorsy. I just figured it was perfect for August. Um, yep, yeah, this was my um, dad's girlfriend's 50th birthday. So got a picture there. Really cute. All right, that was the end of August. So moving into September. So this is my first monthly. And in my Erin Condren still, I don't really use my monthly as like functional planning wise. Um, I have my monthly spread in my, um, previously my Tia, now my rings, and then on my phone, my Google Calendar. So this is more of like a um, gratitude spread. So every day I put something um, that I'm grateful for. And then I also do put some events in here, birthdays or anything, you know, big that we did. This was a monthly kit from Nikki Plus 3 and she still has my favorite monthly kits. They're so pretty. And this one was gold foiled. I pulled in a ton of gold. So really pretty. And then this kit is from Piper Paper Company. This was a mini kit, and um, I just used washi here at the bottom. I really like how this one worked, uh, turned out, and this is like my first fall kit. So, I think it's really pretty. Oh yeah, it's the first, oh, it's my first uh, pumpkin spice latte of the fall, so that's how you know it's fall. <gasps> oh, this one's so pretty. This is from Toffee Bananas. This is her pumpkin and sage kit. I have a ton of leftovers from this kit and plan on using it again. This is just so pretty. I love the light colors. This one I got on the Bodacious Prince VR team. Really pretty spread. I love it. And the next, oh, another spread that I love. This one is from the Crafty Banana. I've got to get some more kits from her. Her artwork is just so beautiful, and I love how this turned out. This is when I got on the Piper Paper Company PR team. This is when one of my best friends got married. They eloped to Italy. So pretty. I love all this deco up here. Alrighty. And this one is from Nerds of the Word Plan. Um, it was, you know, just pumpkins and fall. Really, really perfect for fall. Oh, this is a really awesome kit, too. This is from Creating Co. This is her um, bonfire kit. I love it. Just beautiful fall colors. Got the hoodie and the s'mores. Really, really pretty. Oh, my husband and I did our anniversary gift exchange. I got him framed portraits of some of his photography. Or not portraits, uh, canvases. And he got me a hammock. Um, our two-year anniversary is cloth, so really fun so that was the end of september this is my october monthly this is from sticker bloom and this was gold foiled as well i did really like her kit as as well um and this is pretty this is much lighter colors than i would envision for october but i really like how it turned out and then this is a kit from nightingale paper co again i got a mini kit um because in my memory plan with me, I put pictures and that sort of thing. So I use washi here at the bottom. I really like how this one looks too. All right. And this is from Pretty on Paper Co. I was using some um, washi overlay from Girl Boss Anna. This is um, football season. So lots of football memories. Another Pretty on Paper Co. This was a really pretty kit. I love the colors in this. And this was one of my best friend's baby shower that I helped throw. Really pretty. I'm so excited to have these to look back on. And this is from Scribble Prints Co. I believe this was the first ever mystery kit I got from Scribble Prints Co. And I'm so glad I got it. It's just a perfect fall kit. I love the pops of purple. Yeah, really, really fun. All right, so that was the end of October. So my November monthly, this was from uh, Sticker Bloom as well, and this one had rose gold foil. I did pull in um, 
I think I actually did stick with all rose gold. I didn't have a large rose gold collection at this time, but I think I made it work. So this is really pretty. And oh, this is my Halloween spread. I'm not into orange um, for Halloween. When I saw this artwork came out, I was just obsessed with it. And I got the kit from Pretty on Paper Co. I used silver foil and I used spider foil headers from Rose Colored Days. Really pretty. I love this. And next, this is from Bodacious Prints. So it's Apple of My Eye, which that is what my dad says to me. So this kit was just really special to me. And I used gold and pumpkin foil in this one. I loved Rose Colored Days pumpkin foil. This was a really pretty. I love those deep greens in this kit. Ooh, this is a special week. This is from Wild Summer Designs, and this was a Fantastic Beast themed kit. So this was the week that Crimes of Grindelwald uh, premiered. I am a huge Harry Potter fan, and this I had been hoarding this artwork for over a year. So I did pull in some holographic foil with it, and it's just so pretty. I love this spread. All right. And then this is Thanksgiving week, and I use this Thanksgiving kit from Creating & Co. Oh, definitely one of my favorite shops and beautiful artwork, and I use some overlays for Thanksgiving from Rose Colored Days. I'm gonna picture my dad and my sister, and me and my husband on Thanksgiving. I love the holidays. This was so, so nice. And then um, I did a little like 2018 recap here. Um, so I just printed out a ton of pictures from throughout the year and wrote down some of my favorite memories. So into December. This December monthly is from Pretty on Paper Co. And I used a combination of silver foil and this, I think she calls it pearl, from Sticky Sloth Design. These uh, Christmas light overlays. Really pretty. I love how this looks too. And this was the first time I used a decorative sidebar oh this is nice this is from scribble prints co it's her wedding kit and i've been ordering this one for a while as well this is one of my really good friends wedding in savannah so i've got pictures of us attending there really pretty kit i love all the wood grain in this one and this is another kit from mellow I want to say it's Mellow Paper Studio. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, I got this one like way back in the summer. So I used one of the Scribble Prints Co. wiggles with this one. This was the Ruby Slipper Wiggles. So it was the red foil. So perfect with this. This is my um, first like Christmas winter spread. I really love how that one looks. And then this is from Bodacious Prints. This is her silver foiled Christmas kit. I love her paper, and I love these non-traditional colors with the pink and the blue. And we got our tree all set up. We do a Harry Potter um, inspired Christmas tree, which I love. Oh, this spread is so beautiful. This kit is from Sadie Stickers. It's a gold foil kit. Oh, it's so pretty. I love photography kits, and especially when they have really light colored boxes. I just think this looks so beautiful. Pulled in some gold foil, one of my favorites for sure. And this kit is from Piper Paper Company. This was the week of Christmas, so this was Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. Put lots of pictures of me with my family. And this is another like non-traditional colors to me. It's like lighter reds and pinks and light greens, but I really like how it turned out. And this may be the first time I did my boxes straight across. And I have some headers from Sadie's stickers in silver foil. Oh, and some overlays from Nicole Alexia Designs. Oh, just lots of pretty stuff. This is a really pretty spread. So that is everything that I'm taking out of my planner. It's a pretty big chunk. I did have one more memory spread. So this is my last memory spread. Oh no, this was my first normal spread. Okay, so I was gonna say that I'm leaving one memory spread in there, but I am not. So, that is everything that's staying in here. So, I've got my pliers here, and I watched um, Planning with Heather do this. She made it seem really easy, so hopefully I won't have any issues either. So, 
I am going to take off my um, front and back cover, straighten out this uh, metal piece right here with the pliers, and then just uncoil all of this. I'm going to put all of this in a um, big, I don't know what you call these, alligator clip. So I can just save this and then recoil all of this. So fingers crossed this goes well. And I'll be back in one minute to show you the recoiled 12 month planner. Okay guys, let me just tell you, if anyone tells you that uncoiling and recoiling your Erin Condren is easy and you can do it, you can do it but it is not easy. That was miserable. I'm, I'm never doing that again, but it's done. And the ends of my coils look like they've been chewed on by a wood chipper, but it's okay. So I got the first six months out and I've got them um, here. I'm definitely gonna save those. Ugh, my planner feels so much less chunky. I know once I get further into the year, she's just gonna get fat again, but right now it feels so much better. It feels so much um, nicer when you just flip it open. It's not um, as thick on this side. I'm really happy I did it. Like I said, it was not easy. My, um, look at my finger. It is sore <laughs> and it is discolored, but I did it and I am very happy that I did it. I'm very happy that um, I have a 12 month planner now. I know that I won't be getting an 18 month again. It's just too much in there, but I'm so happy to have these um, memory spreads to look back on. And I'm loving my rewind spreads in my Erin Condren. So um, comment below and let me know if you've ever done this and what your results were. Um, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel. I do try and upload two videos per week. I use an Erin Erin Con Condren, obviously, and a B6 Rings. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.